To sell your super easy napkins, you'll need linen or other loose weed fabric. I like to use bed sheets, but you can also use linen or other fabric by the meter. You can use all different cool colors to make them as you like. Then you'll need some sort of cutting tools. I suggest using, if you have it, a rotary cutter with a cutting mat and a quilting ruler. If you don't have one, just use regular fabric scissors. Then you'll need matching thread. Try to get it so that it's as close as possible to your fabric color. Then you need some needles for your sewing machine. I suggest using size 80. And you'll also need some tweezers to help you out. Iron your fabric and spread it out. Then cut 16 by 16 inch or 40 by 40 centimeter squares like this. Then you're going to sew around with a one centimeter or three eighths of an inch seam allowance without touching the edges. Now normally when you sew, you would start with the edge of the fabric lined up like this under the um, presser foot. But because we do not want to touch the edges, I'm going to show you a little trick. Start at the corner. So make sure that the corner lines up like this with the um, 10 millimeter seam allowance on both sides, the bottom and the side. Then lower the needle. We're using a zigzag stitch so um, it's down pivot then lower the press of foot again so that we are at a 10 millimeter seam allowance and again I'm using a zigzag stitch a stitch width 2 stitch length 1.5 so all the way down the edge and we go all the way down to the corner we stop when the bottom edge is here along this 10 millimeter um, line. Now the zigzag, the needle needs to be to the right, okay? Then we lift up the presser foot, pivot the fabric, lower the presser foot, make sure that we're lined up more or less with the 10 millimeter um, guide and continue sewing. We go that way all around the four sides until we get back to where we started from. Stop when you hit those original stitches. Again, we're going to be at the 10 millimeter guide down here. Do a few back stitches with the zigzag just to make sure the thread doesn't come out. Cut the thread. I have an automatic cutter, so that's why I'm just pulling it out. And there you can see where our stitches hit each other in the corner. Now that all of our stitching is done, we're going to start pulling out these threads. If you see any little ones near the edges, you can just start pulling them right off. Those are easy to take off. We're going to have to start with the um, threads on the top that we're going to pull them out. This wasn't cut very evenly so you can see them they're all kind of scattered here um, near the edge. You can pull out one or two at a time and you can see it starts making a little bit of a fringe. You can see this is really uneven but it doesn't matter. Just pull out one thread at a time or maximum two. You can do different sides at once just taking out what you can and then working your way down. If you want, you can also use your tweezers to help you, for example, at the ends here to help separate each individual thread to kind of pull it out. Oops, those ones go in the other direction. Um, see, there you go. You can pick one out, two out. You can start pulling them. But I really suggest you pull one at a time there we go. Then, once you get a bunch done here, you, you can start doing in another direction. You can see the threads are there. So again, start pulling them. If you see that they get stuck because there are other threads there holding them back, just find where the topmost threads are, the ones closest to the edges. There we go, see, it, they kind of go over there. Just find where they are and pull them out one or two at a time and you'll see that the fringe starts being made and then you can work your way down with the other threads. Sometimes they get a little tangled, just kinda pull them out. Now, because I cut my fabric not totally even, you can see here that the fringe is not even. It doesn't go all the way up to the stitching. Um, here it does but in this other part it doesn't. It's a little uneven. So I'll show you how you can get around that. You can just leave it as it is if it doesn't bother you, or you can pull a thread until it hits the stitching there, pull it nice and straight, and then just snip off the thread with your scissors. 
see, there's another one, that one broke before. Um, just cut it off, and it's fine. So look, here, you can see in this end, there's a ton of fabric left that with threads that need to be pulled. So you pull them, here I'm doing two, you really should do one at a time. See how they get a little tangled up when you do two at once? All right, look, here, they don't pull anymore because they get to where that zigzag stitching is. So kind of um, straighten them out here so they go straight out as best you can and just snip them off. There you go. Doesn't that look so cute? Now just make a bunch more napkins and here you can fold them up. Just fold it in half, fold it in thirds, again in half, and just slip on one of these really cool beaded napkin holders. You can make one in each color for your family, like this. Click the link below this video to see the tutorial for the beaded napkin holders. And make sure that you click subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you soon.